And while Nick comes, I want to talk to you about what's coming next, which is wine. So you, you know that if you've been to other token summits, I'm a big fan of natural wines. And we've served it at every token summit. And it's not an exception this time. We have nine natural wines. Some of you may know about natural wine. It uh, basically has a lot of analogies with uh, cryptocurrency and the blockchain market because it's a small segment that is different from the traditional segments. And uh, it is more pure. Uh, it is more native to the land. It is more organic. It is more, uh, uh, there's no sulfites. There is no preservatives in the wines. And the producers um, have fun with their bottles. Uh, they have uh, labels that are interesting. The bottles are even different sizes. The big bottle there is what used to be a, a milk bottle in France. Uh, one liter bottle. Now they clean them up and they're using them for wine. Uh, one of them has uh, a suggestive uh, picture of, of a couple there and it's called uh, flirt wine. Um, and, and others have flowers and so on. So, uh, I encourage you to uh, try them, and some of them may taste a little bit off if you're not used to natural wine, but that's how they are made. Uh, they are a bit more funky, uh, more expressive, uh, and, and interesting. And uh, my wife and I, that's all we drink uh, for the last three years. Uh, and I encourage uh, anybody who hasn't tried natural wines to keep an open mind and, and try a glass or two afterwards, <laughs> upstairs in the lobby. Sounds good. I'm not much of a wine person myself, but for those that are, it sounds interesting. <laughs> so what do you think, Nick? The, the day has gone so fast. Yeah, I felt like every panel um, went by really quick and, you know, we could have talked for another 40 minutes. And, you know, many of the, ca I think one takeaway is just there's a lot going on in the industry, right? I feel like many of the panels we did, um, you know, in the next few years, there's likely going to be whole conferences on those panels, right? Whether it's security tokens or prediction markets or, you know, any, really any of the, 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 the panels we did today. So, so I think we try to be a little bit ahead of the market. Uh, people still talk about what we did in 17, the first token summit where we brought in companies that became famous six months later, 12 months later, even some of them now. I mean, we had Cosmos two years ago. We had Aragon. We had uh, Tezos. All of these companies are right now uh, uh, being talked about, and nobody had heard about them back then. And we tried to do that. Um, and, uh, and, and we have the videos to, to keep uh, everything uh, uh, available. Yep. Uh, I mean, that's all I have to say. I mean, I'm just looking forward to having a glass of wine at this point. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. Thank you to David and his staff as well for doing a great job or helping us organize this. And yeah, we'll see you upstairs. Thank you. Bye.